Hola, mis queridos. ¿Cómo estás? Me llamo Alicia. Hello, my kittens. How are you? My name is Austin, and today we're playing Life is Strange Before the Storm Collector's Mode. Today we are going over all the graffitis that I missed in episode 3, Hell is Empty. Before we get started, I actually do want to bring up something just real quick in case any of you are following me on my Facebook page. Um, I did note that I was having a little bit, well not a little bit, but a really big health issue that happened this this week. Uh, going from, let's say, Tuesday night to uh, mostly Wednesday. Actually, it's, it's still kind of going on, I should say. I'm not going to go into full details about it just because it's a little gross and a little scary. It was kind of life-altering and um, I actually found out that uh, it's kind of genetic because it's happened to my dad and one of my sisters as well where we get super stressed out in our in our daily lives that it just we just break out and uh, have like allergic reaction to that stress which is super weird. I never thought that actually existed but I guess it does. But that happened. I took the unnecessary risk and actually went to the hospital instead of calling my mom multiple times to wake her up because there was a simple solution to it but I ended up going to the hospital. They gave me a shot of uh, Benadryl and that I mean, that actually forced me to sleep basically and I actually really liked it because I only got like about 10 to 15 minutes of sleep during the allergic reaction uh, the previous night. I'm all recuperated. I, I'm still I still have a couple of spots that kind of freak me out, but <laughs> I'm marching on and I'm going to try to make sure that I'm not stressed like that ever again. I don't want to have an allergic reaction <laughs> like that ever again. Oh my gosh, it scared me to heck. Last time I had that kind of allergic reaction, it was to a specific medicine and I was really young when that happened. Pr pretty scary. I'm not going to tell you guys what that medicine was, by the way, when I had the allergic reaction when I was really young, because uh, one of you might be a stalker and might want to kill me. <laughs> um, not, that I, not that I'm saying you guys are stalkers, but seriously. That's kind of creepy. There are, there are people who have done that, though. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and look it up, see where all the graffitis are, so that I don't look stupid. Oops! No, no I'm, now I'm already looking stupid. Yoink. There we go. So, collectors, yeah, only collectibles will be safe. Will you like to continue? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, what a crazy week, what a crazy month. So, I actually ended up having a conference call uh, with uh, Team Missouri, the PR team, which, is, which consists of me and my mom and uh, both, both Brant both Brandon and the other person in our PR group whose name is Harrison. He's actually a really cool dude. I actually really like him. Has someone been going through my room? Yes, I'm actually going to skip this. Okay. All right. Okay. I've got 2 hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Spin. Okay. Jeez. Uh, let's look at the class photo. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Yeah, and I didn't realize that meant I could graffiti it. Jeez. What do I want the record to show? Burning, uh, now let's do burn out. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I actually really do think the world, or not the world, but um, I actually do think that, uh, I forgot where it was, over here. I really do think Sports that it would be better if Chloe fun. ran away. Because her mom and David really seem to be getting it, getting it on. Really seem to be getting it on. And they both seem really happy. And it just seems like flames. they're happier. Lots of flames. Cool. When Chloe is not there. And I know Clo having Chloe in her mom's life would make things better. But not by much. Because it clear clearly Chloe is not happy. Clearly. It's just really sad. Alright, let's go exit the main menu. I know... Uh, but it should say that we have both of them now. Yeah. All right. Now let's do the junkyard. The one thing that I missed and I was super frustrated. Boom, 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 boom. No, you don't you dare. No! Don't you fucking dare. Hello? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Yeah. Check it. Check, check, check it. Check, check, check it, check it, check it. I've actually noticed, um, I've actually noticed that when you're a grease monkey like Chloe, all that oil and gunk on her hands, well, yeah, should be up to her, should be up to her elbows, I think, and also all over her face and her neck. I mean, seriously, she's gonna she's gonna be digging down there, trying to find out what is going on with the truck. I can definitely see some problems. I'm a little disappointed that Square Enix and don't nod. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Didn't try to make it obvious that she was a grease monkey, but I guess not. Yeah, she's clearly looking at that stain. All right. Gross. But also kind of inspiring. All righty, Daddy, then. Hmm. What do I see? I do kind of see the lion. I want to see what the raven looks like, though. <laughs> I know. Do -do 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 -do. Let me see what a raven looks like. Seriously, it's hard to tell. I mean, I'm sure it's easy to tell crows and ravens apart, but can you tell a raven from a craven? Oh, that is super sick. When life gives you gunk, make uh, art, I guess. <laughs> it does look pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. Alright. And now we can go back. Um, I am actually going to go for the one in the old mill. I want to save the hospital for last. Yeah. Alright. The old mill, I actually, it was pretty obvious on what to do, and I just didn't see it. But now I do. <laughs> oh, man. The old mill, the graffiti in the old mill is technically not a graffiti. It's more like, um, well, you'll see. I'm going to skip, skip. Where the hell is Sarah? We are going to... Take this knife. Twink. 
Yeah. Boink. So we, yeah, come on, Chloe. Use those muscles. Use those muscles. Don't tell me what to do. Destroy. Not afraid. Messed up. M -m 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 messed up. All right. I am actually going to go ahead and go in here and see if anything changes. No. Um. Can we just talk about what's going on here? Okay. What should we talk about? Whatever James promised you, he's a liar. And a cheater. He'll screw you over the first chance he gets. <laughs> you think I'm a fucking idiot? James Amber came to me because he was desperate. And now, I'm squeezing him for all his worth. <sighs> no! Fuckings over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the? Okay, so it wouldn't have changed anything. Alright, well that sucks. Anywho, we are going back into the hospital scene. Because uh, there were two graffitis in there that I had completely missed. And I had a feeling that the vending machine was one of them because one of the graffitis that was listed in the book said the vend something i probably should check we'll see um please no why does this happen i don't quite understand i don't like this i still have that one scene stuck in my head from one of the episodes in the first Life is Strange season. Um. I don't. I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. Yeah, so you can, like, so try to fix what happened? I got my dealer to meet us since you know Sarah Frank Bowers yep yeah that's right oh right I forgot skip I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business is that how it became violent It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. Psst. What happened next? Damon had a knife out 
if we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Uh, uh no thank you. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this? I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if what? Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have. Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. Not really. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, so we already did the wash your hands poster. I kind of want to see what the other one would be. Yoink. Okay, and... Because we did uh, cleanliness is okay, close to godliness. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Let's do dirty joke. Because I think clean joke was the cleanliness. What'd you put this time, Chloe? I'm so tired of dealing with assholes Cute. that you shouldn't have taken the... What does that say? Cue laugh track. I'm so tired of dealing with assholes that you shouldn't have taken the proctology shift. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh boy. All right, so let us deal with the vending machine. I want to see the graffiti, actually. And snack box, brotherly limb. Got it. We kind of already know what the first one looks like. The second one is the firefighters, right? Yeah. And then, boink. The third one? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, you're fast. I want, like, 20 more of those. <laughs> Alright, so now we can graffiti. I think this vending machine could be improved. You know it, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get it. Wait, we don't get to choose? Seriously? That one you put down is disgusting. Why? I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. That is disgusting. I want to freaking hurt you right now, Chloe. All right, so now we go to... Is this up here? Oh. All right, enter. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. <laughs> Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Gotta admit. But hospital pudding is actually pretty good. 
And that one looks super good. It's true that I need the pudding more than he does. Yeah. Good thing we're in a hospital, because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. You don't scare me, Chloe Price. Um. Come on, Drew. Have I ever let you down? Yes. Now you can watch me. <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm gonna let him win. <laughs> I'm gonna let him win. <laughs> you don't know when to quit, do you? Okay, I give in. We can share it. Now that is an interesting idea. Oh man, that's really good. <laughs> really. <laughs> Really good. You're a monster. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yep. Mission accomplished. We got him to eat it. And now we can sign his cast. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Mm, something encouraging. But not too encouraging. Um, no, you owe me is rude. Come on. Don't look, man. It's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise. I want to read it. There you go. If your life sucks, it means you're still alive. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appends knowledge. Anytime. It's so weird, because according to the choices, we're able to play tabletop again with Mikey. I guess that's only if he is the one in the hospital bed. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, I believe we got all three now. Let us check. Boink! And we go here, go collector's mode, and boink. So we got two out of two. Two out of two, one out of one, three out of three. Come on, there we go, one of one, one of one. Yeah, we got everything! Woohoo! I do kind of want to go back and play episode three so that we can or no play the entire game i should say so that i can see what the tabletop game with mikey is like because that look would look pretty cool uh wait no the, the i don't know which one it is it's either jesse cox or jack steps the guy where uh mikey ended up having his arm injured i should find out what happens it'd be cool if they ended up playing that tabletop game i'll have to check it out um, if not, if they don't, then I'll go ahead and replay this game, rec possibly record the tabletop with Mikey, and just hook, upload it as like a little extra thing, make it look a little cool. Oh my gosh, that was a pretty fun episode. We got to catch up on all the gravities that we missed. I missed. And yeah, <laughs> still quite a bit to do. Um, I still haven't done the recording of Nancy Drew with Gabriel Wolf yet. That is a little frustrating for me, but... Um, I think it might be resolved by the end of this week, hopefully. And if not, there will be some pretty interesting footage of a new game that, or well, not a new game, but a super, super, super old game that I found out about it. It looks kind of cool. Um, I got to watch Dan TDM play it this week, and actually it seemed really cool, and he seemed to really enjoy it. And if he likes that kind of game, then I might as well check it out and experience it for myself. It's kind of like Happyville. It's kind of like Happyville. Uh, if, if you haven't watched that video on my channel, go ahead and check that out. Because that, that game was definitely interesting. It's kind of like Happyville meets Sims. Because you get to do all kinds of building. And you get to maintain hospital. The game is called Theme Hospital, actually. I'm actually pretty excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys off here. I don't think there's anything else we can do. I mean, we could probably look at the mixtape. 
but I'm sure you guys don't really care about that that much. Wasn't there a Pisshead song in here somewhere? I think there is. Yeah, right there. Nothing wrong. Is that the only Pisshead song in here? Probably. Nope, there's two. Jeez, a lot of daughter. I've actually looked at looked them up and they're they're a French band. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna come on. I'm gonna I wanna listen to this one. Can we play it? Um And then I kind of can I? Yeah, start playing. Let's. I want to see what it see what it sounds like. Hear what it sounds like. Oh, that's right. It actually take us. It actually takes us to the game of where the song is played. I forgot. So that song is pretty cool, yeah. I think that's about it though. We're good. I think we're good here. I hope you all enjoy this video because I know I did. Heck yeah, it's graffiti and it's life is strange. I'm excited. One of the things that I learned this week uh, during that conference call that I had with the PR team of Team Missouri for Special Olympics USA Games 2018. Oh my gosh, I'm still psyched about that. <laughs> But during the conference call, I found out that Brandon, my boss, he is actually into Life is Strange, which is super, super cool. We actually talked about it quite a bit before the actual conference call started. <laughs> and it was so much fun. I actually was able to tell him that there's a sequel to it because he had he had just finished playing Life is Strange. And oh my gosh. And he was like, well, is, is, is the sequel like broken off into episodes like the first one? And I'm like, yeah. And... There's even a bonus episode, and that bonus episode is coming out next month. And he's like, oh, it's not done yet? I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, man. And once again, guys, bonus episode. I, I am so psyched about that. Please, please, let that happen soon. <laughs> uh, I love Life is Strange, and I love Before the Storm. It's a great game. And if you haven't bought it, go ahead and go and, go and get it. And if by chance you can get the deluxe edition, go ahead and go for it. That way you can get bonus episodes, you can get the mixtape, you even have the chance of playing this game three times. Because if we go into settings here and the save files, heck yeah! I'm actually going to go ahead and start a new one. Because I definitely want to play the game again and not worry about deleting my first file. I hope you all enjoyed this video because I know I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and if so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this video, this channel, go ahead and click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray as well as the bell icon right next to it that'll notify you of all the videos that I do, which are only on Tuesdays and Thursdays now until July 7th. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Freshly Rabbits, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on your death. I was, for a while, I was trying to play the dossier of um, resorting to danger again. Trying to get that bonus ending, super deluxe detective level, so that I can get that extra ending. I still, I, 
I am so confused of how the points are awarded. 